Hello, I'm Mary Jane Mattingly. And I'm Susan Knapp. And together, we're the Quilt Branch. We have designed for Creative Grids the House Ruler. Today, we would like to show you how to use the House Ruler. The House Ruler is designed to cut 45 degree shapes for patterns that have half square, quarter square, triangles, all kinds of shapes that have 45 degrees. So first of all, there are numbers going down through the center that this ruler is 12 inches long. And as you can see, it has two 45 degree angles. I'm going to show you how to cut a half square triangle. When we are using the house ruler, we work with strips that have a half inch seam allowance added on. And so to cut a half square triangle, I use the center of the ruler to measure. So when I measure, I measure the finished size plus 7 eighths and place the ruler along the bottom of the strip and then cut at a 45 degree angle. To cut the next half square triangle, I rotate the ruler 180 degrees and find the same measurement, finished plus 7 eighths, at the top of the ruler. The tip of the triangle is at the measurement and then I cut the 90 degree angle. Now I have cut two half square triangles that when sewn together will create a square. To cut a quarter square triangle using the house ruler, you start with a 45 degree angle. So I always cut a half square triangle to start with because I don't want to waste that fabric. That's ready for another project. To cut a quarter square triangle, there's a little black tip on the edge of the ruler that is an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to put that little black tip at the bottom of the strip and set my the left side of the ruler with the 45 degree angle here and now I'm ready to cut the second 45 degree angle for the quarter square triangle. When I cut that 45 degrees, now this is a perfect quarter square triangle to make flying geese or that kind of project with. If you rotate the ruler 80, 180 degrees and again the little black tip is at the edge of the fabric line up the left side with the 45 degree angle and cut the second 45 degree angle. Again, you can cut clear across the strip and get 45 or quarter square triangles. We again are using strips that are finished size plus a half inch. When you have quarter square triangles, now when you put a half square triangle with them, the little flat tip and the, the point tip match up perfectly and we can make flying geese. Now I will show you how to cut trapezoids. Trapezoids are just longer half square triangles. So again, using the center of the ruler to measure with, if the uh, trapezoid needs to finish six inches, I will cut this at six and seven eighths inches. I measure with the center of the ruler along the bottom of the strip and cut the 45 degree angle. I'm cutting right pointing trapezoids. As I rotate the ruler 180 degrees, again, I'm going to find the same measurement, the 6 and 7 eighths in this case, and cut the 90 degree angle. So now I have two right pointing trapezoids that I can add a half square triangle to, or I can add another trapezoid to and make longer pieces. To do left pointing trapezoids, this time the center of the ruler goes on the top of the strip and now I'm going to be cutting the, right, the 45 degree angle from the bottom up to the right. Again, rotate the ruler 180 degrees, find the same measurement along the bottom of the ruler, and cut the 90 degree angle. 
Now I have mirror images of the trapezoids. I have right pointing and left pointing. Again, you can add a trapezoid. You can add a right angle, half square triangle. There's lots of ways where these pieces can go together. To do a trapezoid that has two 45 degree angles, you would start with a 45 degree angle. So again, I never waste this. I always cut a half square triangle. If I need my trapezoid to be to finish eight inches, I would add an inch and a quarter to that for this trapezoid. So I'm going to put the center of the ruler along the top of the strip. And now when I cut the 45 degree angle this way, now I have a trapezoid with two 45 degree angles. Again, I can add a half square triangle and get a longer rectangle. Now I'm going to show you how to cut a house shape. To cut a house shape, we have numbers going down at an angle on the ruler that are on center. So I'm able to center a three and a half inch square underneath the ruler. The white markings are half inches. Again, the black tip is at the top of the square and I'm able to then cut adjacent corners off of the square creating a house shape. To this house shape, we can now add quarters, half square triangles and finish out the square again. To cut a right pointing parallelogram, again, I start with a 45 degree angle. The math for a parallelogram is to add three quarters of an inch to the finished size. So again, measuring along the, the center of the ruler, I can lay this down and cut at another 45 degree angle. And then I can move the ruler and cut again. To do a left pointing trapezoid, again, starting with a 45 degree angle, this time the center of the ruler is going to be along the bottom of the strip. And again, add the 3 quarter inch and cut. And again, you can cut across the strip and get the left pointing parallelogram. And when you put parallelograms together, you can have a pair like this. And if you use the mirror images, you can get a chevron. These are just a few of the 45 degree shapes that can be cut with the house ruler. The house ruler is designed to work with strips up to four and a half inches wide or squares up to nine inches. So if you've got a pattern that has a 45 degree angle shape in it, the house ruler might be just what you need to make your cutting easier.